first of all, I want to ask a question. Has Egypt been fixed in the remaster? Well, no. Everything is the same, and yet it has, to some extent. In the original, the Egyptian units had these style of weapons here. Bronze weapons. However, in the remaster, those are now iron in design. So I would say that yes, it is more accurate. And yes, one of the main issues has been fixed. But still, it's got a long way to go. A little bit of history. Egypt by this point was a Ptolematic kingdom, ruled by Macedonians. However, the population never just became Macedonian, because their leader was. They were still Egyptian deep down. Therefore, technically, these units are far more accurate than the original. And the fact that the temples are to Egyptian gods is somewhat accurate as well as Ptolemy did maintain a lot of the old Egyptian culture, such as naming himself Pharaoh. He did this to ensure their loyalty, and overall, from what I have read, he seems very popular with the Egyptian people. I think Ptolemy, for what he achieved, is actually a very underrated figure in history. Anyway, Egypt in Rome Remastered could still do with some work, which will be the main theme of this video. However, it's suddenly far less Bronze Age than in the original, due to the iron weapons. So, here we are, fixing Egypt, making it more historical, yet only where it improves the gameplay as well. First of all, something big, but it won't affect the game too much. The royal family needs a rework to be Hellenistic, part of Ptolemy's dynasty. The units are better, but could still do with more work. This is my idea for them. The ancient Egyptian looking units should be far weaker, but also cheaper, giving the faction the ability early game to just spam a load of troops onto the field. However, likewise, they should also be able to train Hellenistic units, but at greater cost, and maybe have them take a little longer to recruit. This would show the historical class divide, whilst still being an interesting gameplay mechanic. On the one hand, you have the cheapest units in the game, which is good, but they're also absolutely trash. But you also have the experienced Macedonians, one of the strongest troops in the game, but super expensive. But I don't want this faction to have much middle ground, more the super weak, the super strong, and that's it. The game currently has two unit types, normal units and mercenaries, but I see this more as a third type, like a levy option where they can recruit the locals in Egyptian settlements to fill in their ranks. Sort of like the Tomb Kings in Warhammer 2, I think, but it's a feature that can be used in Rome, and possibly used to great effect. Leave a like on the video if you like the sound of this divide. Now, Egypt was part of the Diadochi, and Ptolemy captured Alexander's body to put it on display in Alexandria. The generals were clawing for any legitimacy they could find. How about replacing one of the Egyptian temples with a shrine to Alexander? It would fit what Ptolemy envisioned for Egypt and could potentially have a unique gameplay element added to it. I see this shrine as being a little bit overpowered, however, with one drawback. It would be Greek in culture. It comes with maybe the companion cavalry and loads of other bonuses, but decreases the public order instead of increasing it, meaning it's not something you can just spam in every city you own. You would have to be smart about it. Overall, I think this would seriously improve Egypt, 
make them more historical, to the point where they could be the most accurate in-game, but at the same time enhance the gameplay experience. However, there is one more thing I will add, which I feel is very important to Egypt. Something that Rome too actually gave them. The River Nile. The River Nile was so important to the Egyptians, so symbolic, and to the Roman world once Egypt was conquered. But in Rome, it is just a river. My final idea is to expand it out a bit more and make it possible for ships to sail up and down the river to access the Mediterranean. And they should also add crossing points too, where soldiers and boats can share access, like what is done in Divide and Conquer for Medieval 2, without the Green Arrows, because the Green Arrows were not a thing in Rome. Gameplay-wise, it makes it more strategic, and would give the inner Egyptian cities a massive trading boost, as trading ships would now be able to flow through the river. And there should, of course, be ports connecting these cities to the river. Ooh, imagine invading Egypt, but you send one fleet straight down the Nile. Just the imagery of that seems really good. Anyway, those are my ideas. Comment down below if you agree or disagree, and anything else you would add. I have been Melkor. Subscribe, like, and turn on notifications for more. But for now, until the next one, tomorrow's video, Melgon.